everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to review Pixar's newest film, Inside Out 2. I am so pleased to report that Inside Out 2 is one of the best Pixar movies in years. It felt like a classic Pixar movie from the 2000s with really broad appeal. This isn't a movie you can wait to see on Disney+. Plus. You need to see it in theatres. This movie is so universal and there is nothing controversial, so I think it could make a lot of money. The pre-sales are higher than any Pixar film since Toy Story 4, so I think it could happen. The film is a really good illustration of what it's like to have a mental illness. Seeing anxiety take over Riley's mind and how that impacts her life was incredibly well done. The end credits revealed that they consulted with mental health professionals, so the movie will really help people to understand what is really going on in their mind. I loved the overall message of the film to not let anxiety rob you of your joy. Riley's sense of self is an incredibly creative concept. This area is linked to the end of the movie, and I obviously won't tell you what happens, but it is very moving. Amy Poehler, as always, does a great job as the lead character of Joy. Her character becomes more complex in this film, showing anger and sadness as well as her trademark optimism. The other four emotions, sadness, anger, fear and disgust, also deliver hilarious performances. It was especially cute to see the genuine friendship between sadness and Joy that has formed since the events of the first movie. The replacements for Disgust and Fear, Liza Lapira and Tony Hale do a great job, and you never notice that they are different actors. Maya Hawke has anxiety gives the standout performance of the movie. She is so funny and makes anxiety an instantly iconic Pixar character that many people will be able to relate to. At one point, she sits in a calming chair and drinks anxiety tea, and I hope Disney starts selling that tea in the parks. I also loved on Wii, and I think she is going to be very relatable for everyone who is addicted to their phone. There was this amazing scene where Onwe loses her phone and it was so funny and got the biggest laugh at the press screening. Although embarrassment doesn't say much, his friendship with Sadness was very endearing and he kind of worked as a double agent during some of the film. Envy was the weakest new emotion in my opinion because I thought the voice wasn't consistent, but it didn't negatively impact the movie. I also really enjoyed Bloofy and his sidekick Pouchy. The Pouchy moments are so funny and I honestly can't stop thinking about his scenes. If Disney starts selling a Pouchy, I will be buying it. Also, there is an end credit scene, so make sure you stay till the end. I have decided to give Inside Out 2 a 10 out of 10. I literally have nothing bad to say about this movie. It is for everyone, but the older you are, the more you will get out of it. I hope it makes like a billion dollars and we get an Inside Out 3. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.